when two well-known names in the ukulele world collide. Keep watching. Yes, hello, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. As ever, a summary video review. If you look at the link below this video, and in fact all videos, to go back to the website, you'll find a lot more information about this particular model. Quite a few thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. Without these people, this site can't continue. People who've made do small donations to help keep the site going, because I can't take money from brands and stores to do this. They'd just be adverts. This is what keeps the site impartial. Many thanks to those. And you can also help out by subscribing to the YouTube channel you know what to do button down there thanks very much okay right yeah as I said in the introduction a couple of brands colliding um, and that's because we're looking at a signature model ukulele there's not a huge amount of signature model ukuleles out there one or two uh, much more common in the guitar world the brand the ukulele brand is a brand called flight and this is the Peter Moss signature concert Peter is a performer teacher uh, in the UK, but plays right around the world, very, very well known. So, flight, very well known brand. Peter Moss, very well known player. I've actually known Peter longer than I've known Flight. So, if anything, he's got more heritage than they have. Um, he's been playing for a long time. Very, very talented guy. Um, and this is his signature concert because he plays concert. Um, interestingly, I see they've also put out a tenor, but he doesn't play tenor, so I don't understand how that is a signature. This is the signature concert. Let's just get into it. All solid woods, solid spruce top, and solid African mahogany, that's kaya wood, on the back and sides. And it's all about this colouring, isn't it, with this one, which we'll uh, come on to before. Yeah, I'd normally I'd deal with this sort of stuff under the decoration, but let's deal with it. Uh, the back is kind of a walnutty brown colour, uh, natural wood, uh, but the sides and then onto the top in, f in particular is what they call their moonburst colour finish. That's to say the whole thing is stained black, then the inner section is buffed out, so you can see the spruce grain under it in a kind of ghostly grey. I think that is absolutely killer to look at. I absolutely love that look and that contrast, but particularly that, that's just a very, very attractive instrument, isn't it? That's a really nice colour. All right. The bridge is made of rosewood, and rather than go with bridge pins like on something like the Nighthawk, they've gone with the through bridge. Uh, so the strings get anchored very well directly into the body uh, without the fiddliness of pins. It's very, very tidy indeed, that bridge. And the saddle is made of bone with a compensated top. There is other decoration other than this moonburst. You've got uh, abalone ring, which is nice and subtle uh, around the sound hole. Cream binding to the top and the back. And this scalloped cutaway finished in a black. Uh, you recall the scallop cutaway ap appears on quite a number of flight instruments. It's on the Nighthawk as well in, in that bright blue, which I didn't really care for. But this black looks good, almost like an optical illusion. Really like that. Uh, braces are tapered. Top braces are drilled through, Canalair-esque style, to take some weight out of them whilst maintaining rigidity. Uh, the linings are notched. And what you'll also notice in there is a pickup. This is a double brand pickup, active pickup. Now, I don't like active pickups, but at least they uh, put the sound hole controls in place rather than a big ugly box on the side. So I'll give it a bit of a buy for that. However, I just want a passive pickup. I really like if they offered this as an acoustic only option and this as an acoustic for people who wanted this one because I could take the acoustic one and fit my own pickup to it because uh, I wouldn't use an active. Um, so I'm mixed views on that one. That's, that's purely a subjective view, but I wouldn't get it with the active pickup myself. And Flight know that. They know my views on that topic. Okay, the whole body is then also finished in a gloss, which is in very good condition, if now covered by my fingerprints. The neck is made of mahogany. Nice skunk stripe, so it's in two pieces along its length like this, down the back. Um, and there is a joint here, you'd only know that because of the skunk stripe, stripe stopping as well at the headstock as well, which is next to impossible to see. Really nice to see it's finished in satin, so dead super slick to play and hold. Very average, rounded neck profile, 36mm uh, nut, 28mm G2A, so, uh, so not, not unremarkable there. Um, 
but you know, all right, pretty standard really. The fingerboard itself is made of rosewood, as you can see, in very, very good, well-oiled condition. And this is the only nod to the signature element. So we have position dots at five, seven, ten, and then the word Moss at the twelfth. Um, with some signature model instruments, uh, I think they're really gaudy where they put like a big huge signature on the headstock or one guy who even had a cartoon image of his face uh, engraved on the top. Um, that's pretty subtle actually. You wouldn't really know from a distance it was a signature. I think I'd still prefer it on the back of the headstock. That's even less in your face. Um, but you know, would you know? Can you see the moss? It's pretty small. So that's all right. The frets, 19 of those, 14 to the body joint. They are he semi hemi end frets. That's to say that they don't quite reach the end of the fretboard and they're, they're this really wonderfully rounded, curved et off. Flight use these on a number of their instruments now. Um, and they are, they're very, very comfortable. It means no sharp edges whatsoever. Beyond the nut, good setup on this one. Open frame headstock as seen on a number of flight instruments. Face with that kind of piano black finish, very, very nice flight logo at the top. The tuners are made by Prowell, Prowell in black and gold, open gears, they are very good as well, no complaints. This comes strung with Worth Browns because that is Peter Moss's um, choice of string, so that's what he wanted on them. So they come with Worth Browns, no complaints from me. As I say, you get that pickup, and you also get the now kind of famous flight padded red gig bag, they're very nice. And um, for all of that, £379, that's the RRP, they're a bit discounted down. Now that's not a lot of money for an instrument with these sort of appointments and with the pickup, it does actually cost. Um, it's a nice instrument. Um, what I don't understand is, is why it's more than the Nighthawk, which is also pretty much the, well, the same specs. A spruce top, um, mahogany back and sides, active pickup, uh, semi hemi frets all of that all the same stuff it's more than that so it kind of it loses a little bit of a point on my scoring for that but it gains in other areas because i just much prefer the look of this to the nighthawk i think that's a really classy looking instrument not heavy 610 grams even though that pickup's in there it would be lighter without it of course but it balances okay um spruce top mahogany back and sides had a few instruments like that on reviews recently how's that going to work is it going to uh, the, you're going to get brightness from the spruce, is it going to get mellowed back by the mahogany? You'd want it to, because with it being a smaller body, a concert's going to be naturally quite zingy anyway. These are going out, these strings. I've been playing this recently, I would have thought this would have stayed in tune by now. Stretchy, stretchy. I haven't yet worth, used Worth Browns for a while. Okay. Volume. Uh, pretty good. Not the loudest concert I've played, but all right. Good. The sustain though is is really it goes on and on. Great sustain. Yeah. Chunky playing there. Um, very bright, but there is a rounds to it. Now the strings are going to be helping with that. But there is a roundness, um, and I think the mahogany is doing that. Nice. Let's pick it.
finger picking is nice too. Um, that's a really nice sounding instrument um, and one of the nicest looking flights personally I think this is just a great look. It plays really well. Um, yeah, <laughs> no real complaints with it at all. Gets a very good score, gets a recommendation. The Flight Peter Moss Signature Concert, 379 quid uh, retail, a bit less if you shop around. Um, but being a flight, make sure you do buy from a store that's going to check them over because their QC can be a little bit shonky at times. This is a nice one. Thanks uh, to Peter for for instigating this, actually, who, who got in touch and suggested that I take a look at it. And thanks also to Flight, who sent this over. Um, Hal Leonard, rather, who sent this over on loan for me to have a look at. Um, yeah, not too gaudy, as signatures go. Really nice looker. I'm rabbiting on. There we are. I am back next weekend. I've got something coming next weekend, the likes of which you've never seen before. Honestly, it is quite bonkers what is downstairs and waiting for me. Um, I'll leave you guessing on that one. Thanks very much for your ongoing support. Look after yourselves in the week ahead. Take care and thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye.